Hello viewers welcome to the channel this is the second lecture on the topic simple harmonic motion and oscillation of BTEC Macaut physics syllabus paper code PH101 or 201 before starting the class apnara jodi ekhono ei channel ti subscribe na kore thaken to do subscribe the channel if you want to join my online classes you can directly contact me through the whatsapp number given in the screen also you can directly uh, message me through instagram dm or facebook uh, message in the online classes theory classes as well as numerical problems previous year numerical problems and their solutions are also discussed so without wasting time let us enter the classroom in continuation of the previous class today in this class we will discuss about the two simple harmonic motion acting upon a particle simultaneously at right angles to each other having same time period but in different phase which leads to the topic lissajous figure so let us take this is as equation 1 and this one as equation 2 where a b r amplitudes of the wave omega is the frequency of vibration t b the time period which is 2 pi by omega and alpha b is the phase difference in between two so from equation 1 we get x by a that would be sin of omega t and y by b that would be sin of omega t minus alpha if we expand this it will be sin of omega t cos of alpha minus cos omega t sin of alpha we put the value of sin omega t from here to here we get x by a cos alpha minus root under 1 minus x square by a square into sin alpha so if we take this part left hand side then it and if we square it it would be 1 minus x square by a square into sin square alpha that would be equals to x by a cos alpha minus y by b whole square or if we take this part towards right hand side we get sin square alpha equals to x square by a square into sin square alpha plus x square by a square into cos square alpha plus y square by b square minus of 2 xy by ab cos alpha or this term would be x square by a square because sin square plus cos square alpha would be 1 plus y square by b square minus 2 xy by ab cos of alpha or we can write x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 2xy by ab cos of alpha equals to sin square alpha we take it as equation 3 so this is equation 3 is an equation of ellipse confined within a rectangle having sides of 2a and 2b and the graph would be this one so this would be the graph so this is the equation 3 locus of equation 3 uh, so this is a this is an ellipse having confined within a, a rectangle having sides 2a and 2b so this is the corresponding graph now we will discuss some special cases for this equation 3 the first case case 1 is when alpha equals to 0 so when alpha 0 equation 3 takes the form y by b minus x by a whole square would be 0 or we get y by b equals to x by a or y equals to plus b by a into x so this is an equation of straight line with a slope 
b by a with a positive slope b by a. For this alpha equals to 0, the equation of ellipse turns into a straight line with a positive slope. So, for alpha 0, this would be the corresponding graph. Secondly, case 2 where alpha equals to pi. So, whenever alpha equals to pi, the equation 3 takes the form x by a plus y by b x by a plus y by b whole square that would be equals to 0 or y would be equals to minus of b by a into x. So, this is an equation of a straight line having, having a negative slope. So, this is an equation of straight line with negative slope that is minus of b by a. So, this is the graph for second case that is alpha equals to pi. So, the equation of ellipse would be converted into a straight line having negative slope. Next case is case 3. When alpha equals to pi by 2, the equation 3, this is the equation 3, this equation 3 for alpha equals to pi by 2 cos pi by 2 cos alpha would be 0 and sin alpha would be 1. So, equation 3 will turn into x square by a square plus y square by b square equals to 1, which is an equation of ellipse whose two axes are 2a and 2b. So, this would be the corresponding graph for alpha equals to pi. So, the equation would equation of an ellipse whose two axes would be the sides of the two rectangles. So, this is 2a and this one is 2b. These are two axes of the uh, ellipse for alpha equals to pi, this would be the graph for equation 3. Next, fourth case would be when alpha equals to pi by 2 and a equals to b, then this equation will turn into x square plus y square equals to a square. So, which is an equation of circle whose diameter is is 2a. So, the graph corresponding to this uh, circle would be this one. This one would be the graph for alpha equals to pi by 2 and a equals to b. So, this is this would be the equation of an uh, of a circle having diameter of 2a. So, this is case 4. So, this is for case 1, this is for case 2, this one is for case 3, and this one is for case 4. So, all these graphs are the resultant graph of two simple harmonic motion acting at right angles to each other and these graphs are called the Lissajous figures. So, what are the Lissajous figures? Lissajous figures are the graphs and the or the curves which are found or which are formed due to the resultant of two simple harmonic motions acting at right angles to each other. So, all these curves which I have already discussed all are Lissajous figures. So, Lissajous figures are curves or graphs formed by the resultant of of two simple harmonic motions acting at right angles to each other. Now, we will discuss about different types of vibration. So, different, in, uh, different types of vibration. Firstly, it will come uh, free vibration or natural vibration and also we will discuss what, uh, what is natural frequency. When an exciting force is applied to any system, the system starts vibrating. After removal of the, that exciting force, the system vibrates with a uh, frequency of its own that frequency is called natural frequency and that type of vibration is called free vibration or natural vibration that means external force 
और एक्साइटिंग फोर्स अप्लाइड एंड सिस्टम स्टार्ट्स वाइब्रेटिंग विथ इट्स ओन फ्रीक्वेंसी और ओन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फ्रीक्वेंसी आफ्टर रिमूवल ऑफ द एक्साइटिंग फोर्स देन दिस वाइब्रेशन इज कॉल्ड फ्री वाइब्रेशन और नेचुरल वाइब्रेशन एंड द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी इज कॉल्ड नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी next another type of vibration is there which is called damped vibration now in practical cases in practical cases after removal of the exciting force the system starts vibrating and gradually its amplitude diminishes exponentially with time due to the resisting force that type of vibration is called damped vibration so in practical cases after removal of the exciting force the amplitude of the vibration decreases exponentially due to the resisting force that type of vibration is called the damped vibration next another type of vibration is present which is called forced vibration whenever an external or exciting force is applied on a system the system starts to vibrate of it of its own frequency or natural frequency but the applied force tries to impose its own frequency on the system then the period of vibration of the system becomes equal to the period of Uh, vibration of the exciting force then the system starts to uh, vibrate with the imposed frequency or imposed force this is called the forced vibration so after application of the application of external exciting field or exciting force the time period the period of vibration of the system becomes equal to the period of vibration of the exciting force and then the system vibrates with the frequency of exciting force which is called the force vibration now another incident occurs in case of force vibration which is called resonance whenever the exciting frequency exciting force frequency becomes equal to the frequency of the uh, system then the energy or the amplitude of the system vibration becomes maximum this phenomenon is called resonance so whenever frequency or time period of system and and force exciting force becomes equal then what happens energy or amplitude of vibration of the system becomes maximum which is called the condition resonance now different types of resonance are there number one is amplitude resonance where amplitude uh, of the vibra uh, of the vibration becomes maximum in case of amplitude resonance amplitude becomes maximum and also potential energy 
is proportional to amplitude square. So, potential energy becomes maxima in case of amplitude resonance. Similarly, different another type of uh, resonance is also present which is called velocity resonance or energy resonance. So, here in case of this resonance, the kinetic energy becomes maximum and also the velocity becomes maximum in case of velocity resonance as a result of that as kinetic energy is proportional to velocity square. So, kinetic energy becomes max in case of velocity or energy resonance. So, in case of amplitude resonance potential energy becomes maximum and in case of velocity resonance kinetic energy becomes maximum. Now, we will discuss the difference between natural vibration and forced vibration. So, this is the difference between uh, free vibration or natural vibration that is free vibration and difference between forced vibration. So, in case of free vibration, only elastic force without any external force is present. That means, the that type of vibration or free vibration occurs in presence of only elastic force and in absence of any external uh, force, exciting force. But in case of forced vibration, external force is present. Second point is, the frequency of this uh, free vibration depends on only mass and elasticity. But in case of force vibration depends on applied force as applied force is present so it will depend on applied force. And in case of free vibration the vibration amplitude or the vibration amplitude or the vibration dies with the resisting force that means damping present. But in case of force vibration uh, as long as the apply, applied field or the external force acts it will continue vibrating. Fourth point is in case of amp uh, free vibration, amplitude diminishes exponentially with damping, but in case of forced vibration, resonance may occur. That means amplitude may become maximum. So, these are the differences between free vibration and forced vibration. So, this is the end of this class. For what the class, I am further baki simple harmonic motion and oscillation and further topics. Discuss. Uh, see you in next video till then bye.